Because we all know it's a jungle out there. Send me to my and a salute to all my hustlers. Speaking about jungles, my face, let's get it. 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 Name Ivy Tetsewa, age 24, education metric, tertiary qualification, national diploma, veterinary technology, N6. I am focused, I'm very shy, I'm quiet, uh, always smiling. <laughs> Yeah, and I love people. I'm going to let you go to my company, Blog EW, and I'm going to go to the school, primary school, and then I'm going to go to the middle school, and then I'm going to go to the high school, and then I'm going to go to secondary school, and then from there, I'm going to go to the social extension fair. I was the metric in 2009. I was able to the metric in the biomedical technology. I was able to get the metric in the lab. So, I was able to get the metric in the application. So, I was able to get the metric in the application. But, I was able to get the metric in the application. I didn't give up. And in 2011, I officiating and coaching science. The biggest choice is to get the coaching to the coaching. Nearly one of the courses is in Olivia, but in the whole space at that moment. So that's when I was able to get the coaching to the coaching. I can't coaching because I to a sport even because I hope to participate in the sport. So that's when I decide I need something scientific. coaching. We are here to for vet. So in January, I remember that I was registered for the second year in coaching. And then I was able to get the other assistant. And over there is us, one of those student assistants. And then I was able to get the other assistant in the other space. Then I was able to get That's why I feel like I want to have a veterinary issue for the student. So by then, I guess that's already documented. I guess that's already next. And the limo queue, no one allowed about hundred students in on a queue. So luckily, Papa was saying he will be very good. That's when I feel like I'm following the law. Or until it's already documented, I guess go school. And then I heard that they may feel like I guess that's a good picture. My number five. Then they lock the gate, but for the lahore, 
all the spaces are full. So Papa Ubila Abasta won and Naki Vile Kaki Fab. I remember Vile Kitswa Limo Lining and the Kaimela Kutu, Papa Ubila Abasta won me. A very security lay in the Libera Kangmo, Kelly Utlur Vile Larazene and then a real good department of veterinary technology and then a butler to Sa and a healthy Tarakria, the head of department by then Bailey Mr. Herbiard and then Ramonta. My metric results are monthly. The results are Takata coaching. And then from Mogi Hadlori, we have spaces for 102 students. So, Utlang Kenya Moteng, Kiyo Kotia, the Blue Form. And then Kiki Sen, then Aitlaze, and then Kisa Pmide. And then from there, Patong organized the uh, interview, Li Hurukong, a potential assessment. And then Kaidi Raviao, from Mo. Arbole la hori if capacity utlang phone la hori pan select dilo or avan select. Luckily, abile ban phone la hori have been selected. Being a vet, man now is very important. Kau bane retusa di animal si hedi lo ala ready retusa hedi tu le mabadi ready retusa ready ala fe hori leto na di kono malo pilo go right. medical technology and again I'm thinking think about that video because I had a desire to get to the miracle of America in a laboratory uh, every time when I see the scientists on TV they give a little thing I hurry I just want to be like them yeah they give a little bit of white lab codes and then they're really busy in the lab you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> In five years time, Kibatla uh, Hipana Kisekina Li PhD in veterinary technology, uh, specializing in the virology or parasitology field. Yeah. That was an area for gear for interview yaga who veterinary world life sciences. I get a power of Atlantia, a gig of a fellow ling like a little matter of honor, Calibo. Okay, guys, let me be honest, okay? I'm allergic to cats. So, Kabanga Jimmy and Sanganagi, Nepu Bis, Gilbanjan, is your Timulan Gatti, Nintantag, O Ivo, Mundo, Tanela, E. Luane, but Konamanja, you're going to have a good dragon's den, but it's Jawas and Abanta Abangam Kasha. We interview Yaki, yes, but I think the girl's going to do well because you want to know why. Konaga in your gutting Shebele Majebe. Services and our discussion about your internship um, that you may be having with us. Um, as you know, this is uh, a department within Sand Parks, and we are specifically tasked to do service delivery within the company and also to our stakeholders when it comes to veterinary and uh, wildlife capture, handling, and transport matters. So, from that perspective, your internship here with us will involve assisting particularly the veterinary component uh, with regards to uh, the activities that we have to fulfill in that component. You'll obviously meet our vet technologist and you'll be working closely with them. Um, so from a, a functionality point of view what, what your role will be uh, in, in that position is to assist our veterinary technologists uh, and learn in the process how the function works uh, in our given requirements. So there are both 
uh, in-house in the lab functions that have to be fulfilled as well as activities in the field and they sort of overlap but the function that, that the veterinary technologists fulfill are actually very important because the, the processing of samples and preparing the, the medical equipment and, and, and drugs for whatever we're doing, if that's not done properly then, then the actual function cannot be uh, completed uh, properly. So, I mean, what is uh, your interest in, in this whole matter and where does your strengths and uh, your weakness and your strengths lie? Okay. Um, I'm more interested in the lab work. I've never been exposed to wildlife, so I don't know much about that right now. So. Okay, so you've got a wonderful opportunity to really see that and I mean our experience has been and as people get to know this field which is often not well known amongst many many uh, people in South Africa is that you get to see the unique component of it and how important it is to actually look after our heritage and part, part of that is the whole issue of taking samples and understanding disease and physiology of animals so hopefully with time your interest in the field side will also develop uh, as you get used to it and understand the requirement for it. Because like I said, it's a very much an overlapping function. You know, you need to do the field work and the lab work because so, they go hand in hand. Uh, does that all make sense to you? And yeah, the vet science does make sense. So what about the operational service? Okay, so the operational services is there to ensure that the equipment, that's the vehicles, the cranes, the trucks, are managed professionally and uh, by trained people because each one of those functions you have to be particularly qualified, particularly the cranes and the heavy trucks, you know, you have to get your licenses to do that. And then th those staff will also physically handle the animals and make sure that they get loaded or uh, secured when you, when you get down to them. And when we put them on the, on the trucks and we actually transport them, that the staff will actually go with to assist with the offloading and during the, the whole transport uh, process. So again, without them, we can't actually handle the animals. Without the veterinary side, we can't actually mobilize the animals and nor can we take the samples. So that's why I say it's a very much a, a hand in glove uh, uh, function. And um, our ability to do our job properly is to be able to work effectively as a team. And I think that's a very important lesson that you need to learn while you're here during this time because nothing works in isolation. You have a, a function to fulfill, but it's within a a bigger um, sort of circle of, of required activities. Okay, but how safe are you out there? I think that's an important question. I mean, obviously, as your experience improves, you learn how to read the danger signs, but we do have people tasked to specifically make sure that people are safe and secure. So the operational coordinator and the capture supervisor will be the person that will actually communicate with you if there is a dangerous situation and tell you what to do. So it's always important to keep your ears open in the field situation, how you respond to a particularly dangerous situation. I mean, that's not, it's very important to understand that what we do does carry risks, uh, particularly occupational health and safety risks. If we have very clear procedures and, and people appointed to take care of those risk management processes. But again, as you gain more experience, you yourself will start understanding how these things work. And I think the more you, you understand, the easier it is to actually accept the risks and be comfortable with them. And, and that, again, is something that we hope that you'll come out with at the end of this particular um, year of your practical here with us. Enjoy the day today and have fun. And I think the key thing is to understand there's lots of things happening. There's lots of new things happening. But, uh, but the only way to get through that is just take it one step at a time. And uh, I look forward to hearing and getting some feedback later, later in the day. Thank you. Super at to heal. Embarica Utris Ahobane, Kehuana Akalang, who serves a lady portfolio, especially Tanaha. Come is everything Yaruna, Otavana Lecarolo Ewe Ratang, Le E Osai Rating. Empa, Ulukela Hodipopa and Yakao Adapta, Horekarea Hau, Ehono Hotuela. Then I can say inside the Latte or Gadilla Telang, who Bolaya Litola Hau go interview. Sapili, Ulukela who prepared the Garawaza Hau, Pilha interview. Sabo bedi, kuti sana le muhiri wa hao, kaho mmoja di puto. Sabo raro, ipona utolezi. Hupo la ruki kuna halo ya huipona ufinye lezi, seye tambo pilo, horobo khalisi. Harukuta, riyama ni na heng Ivy, wilo kopa na limukudi wa hae. A ranger spot a rhino that was injured in a section, and therefore we're going out today to see if we can treat it. When we're out 
in the field, first of all, you must follow the procedures. <laughs> That's right. Get to out in your base, zookeeper. Bamba my lion, na my cheetah. But hold up, I'm talking about our old currency. Into gas is sabana mocha. O Ivo, o seven zangale zidwane zamambela. Joba ge into gas isha. O nyako o kina. O infundo zake la pana ze veterinary technology. O funa ge internship na e S A National Park bafetu in the Kruger. O to le tuba but asabe zangale zidwane. E nkulu ne ngane. Kasha la che zabaya zamu pumse base. O mungazi. O tige ngu faga scale. Kona la pana go sokse overview. Get a cool ne matara. Abasebenza ge iluane, abasebenza ugola pa iluane, yuwa na makawe e shango tinle za impilo ye iluane. Kutuwa ge, lingane ga kulu inanda labo abasebenza ge iluane za senje. Jenga manese esi za oto gotela, nabola babantu, abasebenza ugusi za oto gotela be iluane ama vet. Nguye <laughs> Abasebenza ei pele la zeilwa nenga bantu abafundele futi abawazi yu umsebenzi wabo basegela utwani nungu luga togote la ngu kusebenzi sa inde la zesimanje ze mazleps ba musizo uwenza lolo sholo olu tinge gile. Ushalo guma leps luenzi wangu kutata ugu samanzi emi zimbeni jenge gazi umkamo na matoya Wage, kupinda kutate na ugunyo ukutolagale emzimbeni kwenzole ugushola kwezi nye izifo ezi nga sisi tolagale kule sosulwane ukuzo kubonagale uguti ngabe isi mose mpilo sale sosulwane si meganjani na uguti futi ukukula loko noma ugufa kwa le sosulwane kubangwe ini. Ngoba, ukukula ugu ningu bangwa hamati wane, haba sebenze ezi pedi la zeli wane, bafa me ugu kondana na yinye noma inje la eza shluga shlugene, uma befundela ugu faga pagati, e-virology, bacteriology, serology, biochemistry, histology, kayene parasitology. Zagay, <laughs> Veterinary technologist, or look at our register, Levali Fapala South African Veterinary Council, Diveti, Ditu Sakaho Lekola, Lugo Tatuba, or look at our scientifically minded, Obana Lego Honiba, Medic, Science, Le Biology, or look at our Bana Leponelo Pale, among Amafilo Anna, or get a quality control, Kapawa Bopadi vaccine, Kutibela Mafi. Bato nga bosuge la inyoga mkoti nwayo Koto uaivi uyezo kuna loko Jobage azohamba yoko na lezi iluani Lasta la kona enje Lo msebenzi unobungozi Nga kwenye mbalega kakuru kutila bandaba Bazi lungselele kapangu tibayonza umsebenzi Sobo nito kazi shai taska kyo kala Giti asimbo So I work here at Veterinary Wildlife Services as a VTEC. It's a veterinary technologist. I qualified uh, with my diploma in 2009 and then I started uh, BTEC 
So it's our honours degree, basically. I worked at a private diagnostic laboratory for five years, processing domestic animal samples, mostly. Liana asked me to prepare for the capture that we'll be doing later. So I prepared two trays as well as the sampling bags and other things that will be needed for capture later. Technologist is someone that runs laboratory tests on bodily fluids such as feces, serum, urine to diagnose the sickness or illness of an animal. A good veterinary technologist is someone that can be very organized, uh, is very precise, um, someone that has got an attention for detail and someone that is curious about science and would want to ask more questions. In order to study veterinary technology, in high school you would need to do physical science, life science and mathematics and you need to be confident with those subjects. I would definitely advise a student to study veterinary technology as there is a great shortage. The job is very pressurised, especially if you work in a high profile private laboratory where there is a lot of samples and the vets want answers as soon as possible. The scope of growth for a veterinary technologist can be either personal or in your career. Personally, you can go on to do research and get your master's degree and you can get a doctorate degree, depends on the extent of your research. And in your job, you can also grow to be a laboratory manager and also look into quality control manager, which is quite high positions. If you do a BTEC degree in veterinary technology, you can also, you're qualified to start your own laboratory. So you can be a business owner. So I prepared two trays as well as the sampling bags and other things that will be needed for capture later. Ivy <laughs> A ranger spot a rhino that was injured in a section and therefore we're going out today to see if we can treat it. When you're out in the field, first of all you must follow the procedures. That's it. You know to help the fight against rhino poaching, but How many times can you subtract the number two from the number fifty? Let me repeat it again. How many times can you subtract the number two from the 
number 50 umuyazi impendulo yazi uthini hashtag ispani ke bese ufaka eyakho impendulo bafethu ngisi khona lapha ku social media ngisi asenze kanje sambe siyobona lezilwane last hour khona njengabo thazana oh serious In task two, we will be doing a rhino capture. And what is expected from the vet tech team side is to collect biological samples from the animal and to supply all the equipment that is necessary to treat the animal. We are about to go to capture the rhino. Uh, I'm feeling excited and <laughs> ready. A ranger spot a rhino that was injured in a section and therefore we're going out today to see if we can treat it. When you're out in the field, first of all, you must follow the procedures. Uh, listen to your supervisors because you might get in contact with other animals, such as lions. Yeah, so you must just be careful and listen. Ivy will be expected to have her sample bags ready, collect samples such as hair and feces, ticks and blood tubes. She will be expected to take care of those samples, mixing them and putting them into the cooler box. Definitely needs to go. We need to take that. Oh, we're gonna use it. Yeah, we can take that as well. Ivy, you can give me that oxygen, please, with that pipe. But let's just go see quickly what's happening. Oxygen to Marcus, please. Ravi, is your sample bag? Uh, you can collect some air samples and tick samples. And a tissue sample. Avi? You need this? Okay. We have alles gebrang. We have alles gebrang. Yeah, I can see it. 
talk to them. Very, very fun. Ali, just come collect the hair samples for them. So you just like to yeah. pile and you pull out some hands. to the rhino, we found that it had a bullet shoot, uh, which is obviously might be from the poachers, but luckily it was it was still alive, so we managed to help it, give it some drugs, some vitamins. Okay. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna clamp the ear, clamp a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. You must clamp it completely. Okay, just listen quickly. And then you're going to cut it with the scalpel blade. You're going to put this on. And then you're going to wait for it to dry. And then you take off the clamp. A little bit less, let's move it to this. We collect samples here at Veterinary Wildlife Services as a biobank. That's our main purpose. Having samples at the, our biobank facility help researchers to come here, collect samples that's necessary for their projects, instead of going out and capturing the animals. By running tests on animals, we can see if there is a disease present. Uh, and whether the animal is in good health. I'm going to take a fecal sample, a little bit of blue. Go everywhere on all your fingers. Okay. Lift your tail and then you press your hand into the rectum until you feel feces. You can be very rugged, it's a rhino, it won't break. <laughs> <laughs> so how many blood samples do you take? We've got four serums. I need some more. There will be a big ball in there, just go deeper. <laughs> That's it. That's perfect. Oh my. Ivy did alright in a task too. As a first time, it is an overwhelming experience, which is understandable. Not every day you get a rhino lying in front of you breathing. And especially this one that had wounds on it, it could be traumatizing to see. But, um, as a newcomer, she's done all right. Okay, it makes me feel so excited that you managed to help the poor animal. Uh, I really enjoyed what I was doing because it just made me feel so close to animals and had more exposure to them. positive attitude.
international park samba nae u IV. Jawa ge afin chola i internship afi zu. Ezo ngato uta achole i practical experience. I dinga e ukutelege i diploma ya kile pano ku veterinary technologist afi zu. Intoga zi i intoga zi ena macho ni epi ne futi i chuli le. Kuto masi kuma ne lo ane ongasho futi u doctor do letter. Napa muso mo na asha into a domain gazo. Asu ni kumbuzo futi spani kuse zu si mega njano. Zise how many times can you subtract the number two from the number fifty? Umu ya zimpeni lomiti chumela uku umkafaza ngokul ukshesha. Kuto maja samso bono u IV. Ayo shage is sample analysis. Kere regia di find out. I mean, this is task three for today. We just returned from the field with the samples of the data dryer. So what is going to be expected from you is to fill it in the lab book and write down the details, give the sample a lab number, and then process the blood with the hematology machine. But before you do that, you need to remember to run your controls for the hematology machine, and you need to centrifuge your plasma and serum tubes so that we can decamp them into tubes so that we can store them. Do you have any questions? No, I don't have any okay. questions. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Uh, lab work is important because there are some other kind of diseases that you normally can diagnose clinically. Okay, I love the lab work because I'm more interested in uh, lab diagnosis, uh, working with blood, uh, learning more about uh, intraparasites and other diseases that you normally diagnose through blood as well. Yeah. Ivy is busy running the quality control test for the hematology machine. This is a crucial step in our procedure as this is to store the blood samples for future research and to have a database of our animals in the Kruger National Park. And also because this animal was injured, we'll get a blood profile to see how he is doing. To adapt to work in a laboratory, one needs to be, uh, have a personality of being very precise and accurate in your work and what you're doing. And you need to be aware that you're working with biological samples and that is dangerous towards humans, so you need to take care of yourself and as well take care of your sample. Okay, before you can do the hema before you can run the hematology machine, you must make sure that your blood is well mixed in order to get the correct results. It's the hematology machine. It's used for counting the blood cells, the red blood cells, the white blood cells. The centrifuge is used for separating for the separation, uh, separating the serum from the whole blood and the plasma from the whole blood, yeah. Okay, in the park, we take samples from anything from wild dogs to lions to leopards, anything that we need to go capture. Rhino is a, is a um, routine sampling, because we do a lot of rhino samples, obviously. And then any animal that has been influenced by humans, such as having a snare, gets started. Ivy's done very well in this task. She is quite confident in her lab work. So why if you face unseen games in the science? Because for the words, the lab work I never was ushaya ibalo. Just as in buzilo umbuzo guti. How many times can you subtract the number two from the number fifty? And the answer is only once, but face. Because after that, you'll be subtracting from the number forty-eight. Get it? Get it? In the apple, we're umkiri kichad, but face. So it must be a M, but we're careful. So when I have to do that, so I'm not going to get a number. I'm subtracting the number umse bezi. I'm subtracting the number matas kuake. Tina ge asati careful. Send the jenga iloani. So two zamans. In full aid. All right, 
So, Abby, how was your day today? So Abby, how was your day today? Uh, it wasn't that bad, but I was nervous. Were you nervous? Yes. Okay, well that's good to be nervous, it means that you're careful. <laughs> and uh, what did you learn and what did you do? Um, I've learned something like that people must stop butchering the rhino. Because mm. uh, it's, it's so inhuman. Okay, but I mean, you saw the, the, the whole activity around having to handle such a poached animal. I mean, there's, there's various yeah. components. There's the operational component and the veterinary component. And um, any things that, that you can see is going to be important for you to, to learn and add to your skills? Something that I can add is uh, the part in capture. I have to add more especially when it comes to blood collection. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know much about that. Okay. So you see how important it is to, to have the field component match up with the lab component. Mm. So that's critical for our function. I mean, some vet tech functions is just often just lab work, but in our function, you, do, you need to be able to do both. And I think with time, as you get used to it, you'll see that it's, it's actually the fun part of the job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the the poaching is a big problem. As you say, it's inhumane and we have to deal a lot with, with these injured animals and it's an it's a unintended consequence of, of greed of people using a commodity from a wildlife uh, species. So do you see yourself being able to fit in and, and uh, uh, doing this type of thing for at least this year and then what, once you've done it, what your expectations are and intentions? Uh, so far I enjoyed what, I, what we were doing out there. So. I don't think I'll have any problem. And in the future, I would love working in, in a game range or in animal facilities because I got so attached to the animals today. Yeah. Okay, no, well, that's great to hear. And I mean, obviously, if, if, if you're going to be part of the team this year, I think, like I said before, the, the key things is we're a team. You're part of the team. You have specific functions that you have to fulfill. Uh, we, we give each other as much support as we possibly can. Um, every, every person has got a specific duty to do and, and obviously in the internship position is to assist our veterinary technologists uh, with, with doing all of those functions and I think those things can really, um, you can make a big difference by, by uh, asking lots of questions so that you learn from the people with experience and then willingly and actively taking part in whatever activity there is, it's really, really important. Okay, and uh, yeah, so you, you would be happy to, to spend some time with us? Yes. Okay, well I think we can, we can accept you into our team. Welcome. <laughs> so just be ready for some hard work this year, to learn a lot. Nothing, nothing comes easy, it's all hard work. And uh, that's going to be part of the lesson of, of being with us. And hopefully you'll come out a more enriched and experienced person to be able to take your profession further. Today I had a, a very nice day. I really enjoyed what we were doing out there. I hope uh, you really enjoyed <laughs> whatever that you saw. Um, my word of encouragement to the youth out there is that uh, please focus on your studies. Make sure you work hard so that you, may, so that you can reach your goals. Don't forget that education is the key to success. On that note, Presa Pusha Panda.
Well done, Ivy. O re bontsitse gore o gone go tswella o lokela go tswa from your comfort zone. Jeka ha o yentse. Ene ke mo he mo bo phele bo qala nteng. Photo ya rona ya beke ena e tswa ko mphistro. A re yena o rata go ba sports commentator o batla o tseba a ka qala kae. Mphistro o lokela go ithutela sports journalism ko university. O lokela go bana le bokgoni ba o ngola ba o botsa dipoto le go researcha. How kata o ka fumana internship ko local newspaper. O ka qala gona tshe ka go ngola ka tsa sports wa ipulela blog. Ha e ka ba gona le ho sa o fumanang. Ho bula o tshakela Facebook ka pa website ya rona. Ke emetse tsa lona dipoto. Hasla ze gona e le ha ifona na madais. Sometimes ya crepa, sometimes o ya popa. O ive o popile ba fetse. Jo ba ga ile tsa o shintsho o lkhulu emhlabeni. Now hasla fo kaya, this is Zitembe uzazi kuti na unga o shintsha omhlaba. You just need to believe in yourself and nothing will ever stop you. Ngala o makama ni tonto zonke ntambo senkhuma kanje. O ya hlana tshi kuba fetse our social platforms all hit us up on our YouTube no make ku Instagram or you can also catch us on our website ba fetse. It's until next week. Silentela ulu nyukele omtanto wana lafika unga mchablela Gitu remember, don't look down Cause we up, we up, we up Look up and stay up